Thank you very much for coming to my live update. I still don't know what number I'm on because the numbers just seem to keep piling up. Ooh, that that lens flare. <laughs> so what happens when you leave the bathroom light on? Anyway, so today is Sunday, I believe the 6th. What is it? I don't know. Days blend together. Uh, today is actually Sunday the 5th of January. And I meant to start doing my actual rewrite of the third book, Stand Up, Obtain Control, in my Reaper series, on the first. Well, I literally pushed it so far in December that I didn't end up finishing my notes until the 31st and I literally did like chapters 9 through 19 in one day. I was so tired. <laughs> but that was because my own dumbass. Uh, I didn't take the time that I needed to or I didn't have the desire to really work on it. It's kind of creepy. There. Now it doesn't look like a gigantic black void behind me. <laughs> This is kind of how I'm feeling. It's a little random. But basically, the reason I say this is because on the first and second, I ended up spending both days going through all my notes and making out a new outline. And now, I'm going to be spending the next two, three months rewriting this. And I am hoping, I, I have a good feeling about this, that it's going to be much better than the last one. Because... For one, I'm not doing nano, so I don't have to worry about that kind of cluster. <laughs> uh, but two, now I have an actual idea of where the story needs to go and where I need to take it. Uh, in other news, I did start uh, back up on my Hunter x Slayer series. Now, for people who are just joining me, hi, welcome. Um, I haven't really worked on my Hunter x Slayer series, which is my vampire werewolf series, since December 4th, if my writing sprint sheet is to be believed. And yeah, kind of left it off on a cliffhanger, and I'm not, I was not happy with that. I liked the scene that I had left it off on, but I'm like, okay, where the hell do I go from here? So I ended up finishing up two scenes in Chapter 7, and then... I think it was like two, one or two scenes of chapter eight. So I'm slowly getting back into the groove of it. I did about 1,200 words, a little bit over that. So I'm getting back into some kind of groove. Now, anyone who's a writer or anyone who does anything from home knows that when the holidays hit, any semblance of schedule kind of goes out the door. <laughs> And that has happened to me hardcore this year, and I'm not happy about it. So, basically what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to try to do my version of a mega writing day. I'm not sure if I'm going to go out and do it, because my husband's not going to be here tomorrow. He's got game that he's doing, and he's doing work. But I'll basically have the room to myself. I'm thinking about just doing it here and seeing where that takes me and seeing how far I can get. Um, I have no idea how far it's going to go or if it's going to end up being pushed further into not wanting to write. <laughs> but I, I think uh, I think I might go out and do it. I don't know. I have to see how I feel tomorrow. But anyway, basically, I'm hoping that I can get the gumption up to be able to actually write a lot and start myself off good. Um, because I'm still trying to work out the kinks in my writing process because it's a never evolving thing. But I am hoping that I've kind of got it a little down pat, at least the time frame. Um, because it took me about 
well, last time when I did this, um, it took me two months to write the first draft. Then I spent, I realized two weeks was not enough time for me to actually go through it and edit it properly. <clears throat> so basically a month of editing, then about three to four months for a rewrite, and then a month of editing, and then a month of uh, doing the publishing. Usually the month of publishing is just going through with a fine tooth comb, making sure everything is formatted correctly, make sure everything is set up properly for the actual publication date and everything. So that's kind of the fun bit. But that's why I give myself a month for that. Um, but I have promised my, ba my two beta readers that they can have this manuscript by about the end of March. So they're both kind of clamoring for it. One of them, God love my uh, my beta Hannah. She talked me off the ledge several times when I was doing my first draft, and ooh, there was some ledge, there was some ledges I dealt with. But God love her, she helped me through it, and God love Evie, who has decided to be my second beta. So yay, thank you. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys like it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's basically all I have update wise now. Um, I am, I'm gearing up for rewrite time. <laughs> this is where I actually really start to either love my manuscript or I hate it even more. Uh, when I did the rewrite for Stand Up Fight Back, I hated it because it's like I had to completely change a bunch of stuff. When I did the rewrite for Stand Up Breakout, I loved it. It was so much better because <laughs> I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. But I loved it. It was a lot better. It was a lot cleaner. But the process of writing from scratch on a story you just already spent a lot of time doing kind of sucks. But that's how my process works. And yeah, it, it kind of sucks. But anyway, now I'm rambling. Um, it is, I think, 11.30? Almost 11.40. Ha! Um, I'm actually going to take some time to listen to an audiobook, uh, maybe play some Minecraft, not sure. But, ultimately, I am going to take it easy tonight, because tomorrow begins hell. <laughs> not in literal terms, I do love this story, but anyone who's ever had to do a page one rewrite knows this level of hell. <laughs> Alright, so, thank you all for watching, I appreciate you coming to check this out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!